Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stub stubbed. One day I'll get the whole thing out without messing up. Subbed and stayed. Now we're on to a Friday haul, H&M, Q&A and thyroid update. Did anyone really ask? Shall we jump in? Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today is actually Wednesday. Friday no. is my birthday. It's September 1st. I'm going to be 53, but that's not why I'm making the video today. I am actually going out of town on Monday. I'm going to New Mexico to see my friend Sheila Fajal. And if you'll follow me on Instagram, I don't know what she has planned for us. Let me tell you, when I visit her, it is a whirlwind. Matter of fact, last night I was thinking, oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to walk. And then I remembered, oh, when I'm with her, I will probably walk double to what I walk around here in the neighborhood. Yes, normal people walk daily, Lisa. They don't drive everywhere. So we will be doing some fun stuff. She's already sent me lots of like dinner reservations and things like that. I've never... I don't know what we'll be doing, but she's already sent me an itinerary of what we might be doing so either you know you know or you don't know I've been to New Mexico so I just want to take it in I think I'll have one video coming out one or two but next Friday I will bring back whatever I got for my birthday I haven't gotten I told John not to get me anything I'm gonna just do some shopping out there so today's video is a little like you need to do any shopping off the cuff and a little unplanned because typically I do it on Thursday. But I want to start off with a special for my favorite pillow. If you watched my room tour, I will put that up here. I just did a master bedroom makeover with an interior designer and I... From what I can see, it doesn't look any fucking different to what it was before. Um, does it say add anywhere for the sleep and glow pillow? No? I think most of you liked it, and if nothing else, you enjoyed it, and I appreciate all the wonderful response to that. I think most of you liked it, and if nothing else, you enjoyed it. How, if people didn't like it, they wouldn't have enjoyed it, would they? I love it. You will notice that I have my sleeping glow there. This is actually a newer one that they just sent me, and it has the copper infused cover. So I've been sleeping on this for, I think, two weeks. Ignore the slobber stains. <laughs> Yuck. Why draw attention to it? Fuck's sake. And if I haven't explained to you why I love that pillow, let me explain. First of all, it has these little pockets in here. So when you put your head down, you decrease all I'm of sorry. that wrinkling. And just to me, it makes me breathe better. It's just night and we've heard this a million times day to another pillow now it has the copper infused cover which is antibacterial so now it helps with your skin also so it has germ fighters it's supposed to be really good with rosacea let me read some of the benefits here unbelievable skin benefits of copper kills 99 percent of bacteria improves eczema reduces wrinkles and fine lines which you're already getting the wrinkle reducing help of not having your face smushed up john is a on his face sleeper and he will wake up with just pure creases like that boosts collagen and improves complexion copper stimulates collagen production and contributes to clearer more even complexion overall and this is a really big one with me it eliminates odors as if that isn't enough copper's antioxidative properties make it an excellent it eliminates odors. What sort, odor eliminate. what sort of odors are you battling? This is what I can say. I've been promoting this pillow for years and sleeping on this pillow for years, and I will never be without it. It is perfect for my neck. I go to sleep on my left, and then it's perfect if you are a this kind of sleeper. I love to put my arm. A this kind of sleeper. A this kind of sleeper. It's perfect if you sleep on your back with your arms in the air. I see she hasn't gained any fucking brains while I've been off sick. Arms up, or like this, but it's very, very level with your neck and your shoulders. So they have offered us a $20 off gift code. I will leave the link below. And if you have tried this pillow, please leave us a message down below what you think of it. Now, I know it's not going to be for everyone. I've given my mom one. She loves it. And I've had a lot of friends that said they really love it. Now we're going to... Get on to some just craziness. I'm telling you, get your drink out. It's gonna be one of those days. I've got just so much stuff I've been piling over here. This is the first one. You know, I'm into my candles and my matches. I'm into making every aspect of your life the best it can be. The whole romanticize your life. I wholeheartedly believe in that. There were things that I used to dread doing that I would really think about 
Is there music in the background? Or am I hearing things? About And I'm like, why do I not like that? And I would get rid of the things that I could and then I would enhance the things that I could to make those times enjoyable. Candles are part of that. I would say candles make me like the winter and the fall a little bit better because I just love that whole vibe. I always light a candle at night and in the morning when I'm washing my face and doing things in the bathroom. So I've really enjoyed having pretty matchsticks. I even love the smell of the match when it burns out. But this one is made with love with the tigers on it. And they look so pretty when they're sitting out. This one has the two peacocks. And then look at this one. And I got superior safety matches made with love. What's the actual fuck? Anything, absolutely anything that she can waste more money on, that's what she'll do. Oh, don't buy a rechargeable fucking candle lighter, no. Have trees cut down to make little wooden sticks just because you like how it smells, for the love of God. These from Anthropology. I don't know if I said that. Made with love. Oh, my God. And you could even keep the boxes and then reuse them. This one, I'm going to open. I hope she means that the little match boxes come in the big box and keep the big box, not the little match box. Because other than ants or beetles, what exactly are you going to put in them? Open, I ordered, I think it was when I was linking the candle last week, my big Veluspa Burning Woods candle. I saw these and my big what candle and I must have been in a cheeky mood when I got this one because the name of it is Brawless. When are you not in a cheeky mood? When are you not showing your tits or your fucking midriff? Really? Booby pillowcases? Showing your thongs to the world? which is kind of ironic because I never go braless. I did, but after you go through the expense and the pain and the recovery time of a mastopexy, <laughs> you will not go braless again. <laughs> yeah, and then all I wore was stupid little bralettes while I was recovering instead of proper bras. So don't fucking try and tell us anything. Yeah, and they told me to even sleep in a bra, and I do. I just thought it was pretty, and I thought it was cool, and interesting, and sexy, and all those things that I like. Oh, my goodness. Okay, how could it not be sexy? Warm, woodsy undertones set the mood in a comforting ode to personal liberation. I get it. I get it. So this is kind of like the 60s braless. Oh, my. Oh, for the love of fuck. How many of these have I got to get through? Oh my gosh, so pretty. It smells sexy too. I love it. But this is what... It smells sexy. What's sexy, Lisa? Tell me, what does sexy smell like? I saw when I went on there, and it comes in several different designs. I have to tell you guys too, these kitchen scissors, my aunt and uncle gave these to me one Christmas when I was in my early 20s. It was when I was married to my first husband. That's how old these are. And they are still going. We have some other ones, but none of them are as good as those. I thought you got special scissors to romanticize everything because you didn't like just using old kitchen scissors. 1111 Midnight Cowboy. Look at this candle. Oh my gosh, you guys. And one of you gave me the tip to always burn it one time so that it looks like you've burned it or whatever. Thank you. I've never heard of that. I mainly just got this. Of course you haven't. And you don't know how to burn candles properly at any time. So that's cute, that though. Would you burn it? I know I wouldn't because I just thought it was so cool. I'd want to get a cowboy hat candle to go with it. <laughs> oh, I think there's like a truck and a few things, but 
I love it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, this is really gonna be one of those days where we're just friends sitting here talking because I'm gonna be all over the place. Yesterday on my Instagram, I thought, I'm gonna ask them to ask me some questions and I am gonna take them with me during my day and answer the questions as I go. Well, that did not. Oh, I'm gonna ask them to ask me some questions. Well, Lisa, and everybody else who does this. Do you know one thing that really fucks me off is when YouTubers do a question and answer video but they put the thing on Instagram. Ask me anything. And then they come on here and go, oh, I asked you on my Instagram. I'm not following you on Instagram. I'm watching you on fucking YouTube. How about you ask the people on YouTube for questions that you answer on YouTube and you answer the fucking Instagram questions on Instagram. I'd love to see what they asked her because I bet she's fucking binned half of them. Oh no, I'm not answering that not work out so well. I had music in the background of Barnes and Noble. Not a Oh, how very dare they have music in their shop when you go in to make a video which you shouldn't be doing in there. Only will it demonetize the video, which is not a big deal, but no one wants a flag or a ding against them on YouTube. Then I had changed my camera settings. On so how about you actually announce when you're doing a sponsored video, because that will get you a ding from YouTube. And take out the music in your intro, maybe. On my phone, and I honestly, it was 4K, it looked like it aged me about 30 years. I <laughs> there we go. There's the truth. I didn't want to put the answers up on here because I looked old when I didn't have my lighting and my filters. Ka-ching! Looked like the Crypt Keeper. And I had some other complications. So what we're going to do today is I want to answer some of those questions that you asked me, some of those are pretty fresh in my mind, and then show you what I did yesterday and what I got. So I did go to H&M. I've been wanting to go and wanting to go and I just hadn't had time. And I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble and they happened to be walking distance, of course. And so I went to H&M and I ended up getting <laughs> this which is no big deal, but I loved that it is matte Huge. black. It's all about the 90s. This morning I was watching the coolest video on 90s fashion, Rise of the Supermodel, which we'll go into. So that's what she used to put all her outfits together, obviously. Something else I show. And just the simplicity of dressing in the 90s, and I love that. If you've been here, you know there's nothing. I the simplicity of dressing in the 90s. I never knew getting dressed was such a hassle. I like more than an all black outfit or a black dress and black flip flops. I love that simplicity. Even in my undergarments, I've noticed I always go to like the Skims or the Aritzia bra. I love that simplicity because I think it's still so sexy. And then every once in a while, you know, I'll throw in some feathers and Really? You throw in feathers, do you? Faux fur and stuff like that. So let me think of the questions that I answered in Barnes and Noble. Plus people were walking behind me and things like that. Oh, okay, I had some- Oh, were they? Really, in a shop, a public space where people go to shop and buy books? Someone asked me why I wear my engagement ring behind the wedding ring because typically, you know what, let me go wash this real quick. I didn't go. Really? I do that. I've got these on at the moment because my hands are swollen to hell. So I got this in a W, right? Would you believe that's how big that fucking finger is? That's why I can never just buy rings off the peg and then... Ugh. I got, I've got that one on. But I've always worn my engagement ring first because I got engaged before I got married, basically. 
go like professionally clean it or anything. I just washed my hands with Dawn. <laughs> and we all know what a miracle Dawn is, Dawn dish soap. Okay, so the reason I wear them this way instead of the diamond on the other side is because when I lost weight, you can see how loose they are. But in the summer when it's humid, then your hands swell up a little bit more and I didn't want to size it down and it get tight. And I never, ever, ever take my rings off, not to sleep, not to shower, not to do anything. So that is why I wear them like this. And then I had someone ask me how to get my nail polish to last. I have three good tips. One is make sure that you really wash your hands thoroughly with soap after you remove your polish. To use, this is what I use, the OPI Nail Envy for the base coat and Sesh Veet for the top. I could not do it without Sesh Veet because it is a You do know that I use Sesh Veet, but I'm 58. Are you gonna tell the people that you're recommending Sesh Veet to? that are in their baby making years maybe it's not a good idea huh maybe fucking woman a thick fast drying like coat of plastic that you put on the top of your nails and then don't let them get too long if your nails get longer than mine are about right now which i just had mine done and had them really nobody's allowed to let their nails grow out what the actual fuck cut down they will chip much easier so the secret is keeping them right how about telling people to cap the free edge and then it won't chip jesus who's asking her for fucking nail tips of all people right to the ends of your fingers let me tell you why i went into barnes and noble i buy a book maybe I wanted to get this and then one of you reminded me on Instagram so I went like that day. This is the Vogue special edition with all of the supermodels. I believe it was at a Versace show where they did the George Michael Freedom and it's just the greatest of all time Vogue models. Really? Is it? The greatest of all time? Time! No S's. Do you think you could fucking remember that now it's on the front of a Vogue magazine? Model issue, it was $9.99. I just love Ooh, it. $9.99 for a fucking magazine. I used to think they were expensive at $2.50. So I'm looking forward to looking through that. And then I picked up this, I think it's British Vogue. I loved her makeup and I want to try to recreate. All I can see is a winged liner. What fucking makeup? She's got lipstick on, obviously. Ate that. I've already looked at what she's wearing and oh, it's she Rimmel. Has. And so I'm going to try to order some of those colors. I'll be honest, I looked at the lipstick and it didn't look like what she really has on. And that can happen. Because her lips are a fucking... Di oh, Jesus. Wept. Do you think if I put a lipstick on and you put a lipstick on, we'd both show the same colour, do you think? Do you think when you buy a lipstick that that's that colour and you mix it with your lip colour that it's going to look exactly as it does in the bullet? No! Moron. So we'll see. And, you know, they've put filters and everything else. Just like you do just to make this magazine pretty. So I got these two, pretty. and then I was kind of craving a new style book. So I went over and looked in the style section, and this really was neat, I thought. I had the best guy help me, his name was Ken, and I'm gonna put a picture of his tattoos in here because loved it. We connected on every level, he smelled amazing, he helped me throughout the we connected on every level. The man in the Barnes and Noble shop. And he smelled amazing. Yeah, I should hope he would if he's working with the public. I'd love to see what he said about you. The whole store. And the first thing I asked him was, where are the fashion books? And so he took me over to where the like coffee table fashion books are. And I said, well, 
I said, if you have any of these that are on sale, I love getting the big coffee table books on sale and they always have good ones, you guys. You gotta keep checking in there. Then I said, and I really- You won't pay full price for a fucking book, but you'll pay through the nose for fucking ridiculous things. And I'm sure if you'd looked up, there would have been a sign somewhere that said fashion section, gardening section, whatever section. But you're too fucking lazy or stupid to figure it out yourself. They want like a more of a how-to fashion book, like for good in... How to get dressed 101. There's no such thing as a how-to fashion, you fuck with. Inspiration, like Nina Garcia or Victoria Beckham, you know, I was trying to explain to them that book. Those books are in the health and wellness. Isn't that telling? I thought Isn't that was it? so cool. So I pulled out some different books, sat down and looked through them. And the one I ended up with is this one. The Anatomy of Style. It's really cool. I looked at it last night. It kind of dissects some of the models and actresses' style. Angelina Jolie is in here. Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So Haley Bieber, her style secrets. Let's see who else. Okay. Haley Bieber's a fucking child. Are you? I wonder how Haley Bieber figured out how to get dressed. Okay, here's Gwyneth Paltrow, who is a very big 90s style icon. So I thought that maybe I would use this book for some insp inspiration. I'd use this book to copy for my video. Inspiration and do some good fashion videos coming up. And then if you got that Vogue magazine, you also got a limited edition tote. It was my lucky day. I tell you, I had the best time. And then let me get- Oh, I had the best time because he smelled so good. And I acted like a blonde dimbo in distress. And he helped me all around the shop. Really? Who can't go in a fucking bookshop and find what they want? get the coffee table books that I got on sale and show them to you because they are gorgeous. First of all, on the way over there, I spotted this one and you know how much I love my tigers. I think this book is beautiful. It's the Smithsonian, A World of Wildlife, $20. Like all of these books that I got, I think it was like $130. I love like this. Really? $130 on books? If you love wildlife so much and you love tigers, how about donating to an animal rescue service or a world, what's it called? World of something. Is it world of wildlife? Whatever. That'd be a lot more useful than getting a fucking book that you're just going to put sideways under a lamp for my entryway. Like I always say, make it something that you love. Think about where you're going to put it. Think about the colors that you're using. Just Black. wildlife. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> what was funny about that? I just, I don't, I can't with this fucking woman. Is she really that fucking stupid or does she have to practice? How words, colors, everything can just, you know, speak to you. So anyway, that one spoke to me. Then we went around and that is when I really started talking to Ken and he is an artist. He works at Barnes and Noble part time and he was showing me these books and they are the Van Gogh book. And then he told me about, you know, that's not how you pronounce his name, but I'm not telling you. There's the Van Gogh movie that I will put in here. And Van Gogh was the artist that really never knew how popular he was going to be. I think he was only ever known for one painting. But he never knew how popular he was going to be. Does anyone?
before he died. He's the one that cut his ear off. He just had this miserable life. And then after he died, people discovered his paintings. And he was talking about a Doctor Who episode, I believe. I will look it up and put it down below. But look at how beautiful this book is. It's got the metallics and the blues that I love. And it's just, oh, just so pretty. So I grabbed that and I told Ken, I said, I'll never forget you telling me all of that. And then I saw. Really? Oh, thank you, Ken. That's fine, Barbie. Really? The Monet, look at those colors with the metallics and the pinks. So this I will probably put upstairs in my living room because I have more of that real Paris look up there with the fashion and I just think that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I mean which bits your living room upstairs. And you're getting the look of one of their paintings in a book. That is the way to go. If you see like Gray Malin, Slim Aarons or any of these artists that you love the look but you don't want to spend the money on the painting i've even seen people take the books like this like that was seven this was 17 dollars, and you find the pictures in here that you love and then you take them out and frame them you mat them and frame them and you can get some beautiful beautiful things so that was so much fun Get the book if you can't afford to get the painting. If you could afford to get the painting, where exactly would you go to buy it? Walmart, maybe? The fuck? On. Okay, on the way to H&M, the question I answered was, what are my most comfortable sneakers? You guys, these are the two pair of sneakers that Ez! I have worn. Per Ez! There's two of them! For over three months now, I have walked every day. I missed one day that I came back from New York, and then I missed the one day that we went out to the movies as a family, and I felt like that was a sacrifice that was worth it. I love these. They're it was a sacrifice to go to the movies with... And you're the fucking only one who wanted to see that stupid Barbie film. A sacrifice to go to the movies with her family. Run, Will, run. They're so light, they're easy to put on. These are my most comfy sneakers. Now, are these my most fashionable or, you know, want to wear out of town sneakers? No. If I had to say those. I, I don't want to wear them out of town. You've just said that you're going to be walking forever with Sheila. They'd be the. Okay, we hear you. What else do you get for Christmas, Tulsa? If you're going to be doing a lot of walking, wouldn't it make sense to bring them out of town? It would be either the New Balance black ones or the Gucci. I love those. Those are so comfortable. Or if you want a platform, cool girl, white sneaker, the Adidas Nizza. So let me show you what I got from H&M. This skirt. Look at how amazing this skirt is, you guys. This is this skirt is what's amazing about it it's a fucking skirt it's a must-have it's right on trend fall 2023 with the suiting and the pinstripes we're having a just a comeback of the skirt in general this is amazing now i just got these yesterday so i did try on everything this morning but i didn't necessarily style everything because i want to save these for future videos john was out here and he loved it too it is so pretty we are going to do so much with this skirt oh, are and we? the size i got is four and it was $24.99. The t-shirt I tried it on with is this one from Oliver. It's the perfect white tee that I showed you a few weeks ago. So you, you, you're back at Oliver and you're wasting your money on plain white t-shirts that you have got a fucking house full of.
Oh, and then look at these. What the oh, hell? Gosh, you guys, these are so good. This is what really got me going because I walked through there a little bit and I didn't really see anything. But once you find like one good thing, I feel like it kind of inspires you and energizes you to look a little bit more. I'm not a rack to rack shopper like this. I'm a drive by shopper. I'm the person who walks in and just walks around and walks out. But when I saw these, I thought, okay, I know I'm gonna get these, so let me look a little bit harder. And that is when I saw the skirt on a mm -hmm. section I had not even looked in. These are amazing. I think that for them to be kind of out there like this, this snake print, the fit is perfect. You can wear a little bit of a heel. I chose to wear these frame sandals. These were just gems from one of the past Nordstrom sales, and I don't think they sell them anymore. I'll try to find something similar because this is so valuable to have the lower heel, but you get all that look of a strappy sandal like it's going to be a tall heel. Anytime you can find a good pair of sandals. What the fuck is she going on about? Sandals like this, grab them up because every year Oops. till the end of your life, they're gonna be in style, especially with jeans and a white tee. They're just gonna be a go-to sandal. They looked really good with this and the white t-shirt. We're gonna have fun with these. You're gonna oh. love them. And the no, size I got is size four and they fit very, very well. And then the last thing that I got is also right on trend with the vest, which- Is there a fucking track meet that no one's invited me to? What in the hell is going on? It's Sunday. Shut up. Do you guys know, I've loved vests since before they were really in style, but yeah, they're really have. in now big time. The reason I chose this is because it's navy blue, it's the pinstripe, and I had you guys on my mind because I know that everyone doesn't like just skin, <laughs> the color skin, like I do. You know, because of where I live, I'm used to seeing skin. I'm used to seeing people in sundresses, bathing suits, things like that, but I understand it's not always appropriate for the workplace or you might be a little bit more conservative and classic and classy than I am. And I thought this was <laughs> a good- Classy than I am, there's a line. Good way to go. Fits very well up underneath the arms. It comes down, it's not gonna show your tummy and it buttons up very, very nicely so that your cleavage doesn't show or anything. Doesn't it? And I think you could wear this very easily as a top without anything showing anywhere. So I wanted to grab that, especially for you guys. I did notice the first thing I tried it on with was my Levi's baggy dad jeans. I didn't care for that because it's too baggy and long for something else that's baggy and long. So I just threw it on with this little outfit that I picked up this week from Calvin Klein. And I don't suggest that you wear this with these bottoms, but I just wanted to show you how this will look good with like your flare jeans, maybe like the Gap vintage straight flare or whatever it is that we like so much. Anything that's more of a- Whatever it is that we like so much. Maybe if you just picked one style of jeans and stuck with it, people might know. Fitted leg that kicks out a little bit at the bottom, that's what this is gonna look good with. I think you will enjoy this. Something else I got this week. Remember I told you it's like bathing suits. The best time to shop for a bikini is around March when they start first putting them out because by the time it's time to wear bikinis, they're on clearance, they're getting sold out. So that's how it is with good coats and faux furs, especially faux furs I've noticed. Now is the time. Why do you even have a faux fur? Time to get these before they're sold out, even though I can't wear it now. This one is Majorelle, Majorelle. I believe I got this from Revolve. I got it earlier in the week. Ticks all the boxes. All day, every day, the best color to get is going to be your more natural beige. Now I have all the funky colors and I've even had black ones, but to get the best faux fur vibe, street style, cool girl vibe, is going to be with more of a natural color. And it's also gonna be with a collar. I noticed by trial and error, then when I would get the ones that didn't have a good collar, it didn't give me the same look. So this, not only with a slip dress to your Christmas party, but this. 
just like you did that year. Mm -hmm with your Aviator Nation joggers and your favorite sneakers. Like the girl in the picture you just showed. Mm -hmm. And a plain white tee. And this is going to elevate your look. You are not going to blend in with every other woman out there. You're gonna feel stylish. You're gonna be warm. I think I can sit back down now. Look at this little beauty. This is my new baby bag <laughs> from Anthropology. This is the third one of these bags that I have purchased. The first one was the ivory pearl type color. I gave it to my mom. She loved it so much that we ended up getting her the tan version. She loves it. So I wanted to try the smallest one. This is such a good bag, you guys. I love it. It goes with everything. It's light. Let's see what I have in here. I just have my card holder, which is the Louis Vuitton. I have this little case that I ordered from Le Sport Sack. This has just my lipsticks, a pen. Lip Sport Sack. Shack. Whatever. How much longer is this going on? Sometimes I will stuff cash in here if I don't want it loose in my purse. Then I have a random buxom gloss and my car key and my car also has a card that's what i have in here and i still do have room to put my iphone in there if i need to but nine times out of ten i've got my phone out to take pictures and do texts and stuff like that so loving this what a great gift this one or the bigger size let's move on to some shoes look at these <laughs> tomato <laughs> red shiny Birkenstocks. Remember I said red is going to be the red shoes, no knickers. Color of the season, which red is such a classic. The most conservative person wears red. That is just a classic color, but it's gonna be in big. I've always loved red shoes. Some of my favorite shoes in high school, I believe I was a senior, was a pair of pointed red flats. Like the inside towards the toe was scalloped. Oh, they were beautiful. So I have a pair of red flats on the way for us to try. But my mom found- For you to try, fuck's sake. These. And I tried to order them for her twice on the Birkenstock website. And for some reason, my order would not go through. So I ended up ordering them from Free People. And she wears a 7. And I ordered the 38 because I think it said on the website that this was for 7 to 7.5 or something. Bottom line, they were too big. And I wear an 8. So I... Oh, <laughs> I wear an 8. Yeah, you didn't do that deliberately, did you? just reordered her her size which would be a 37 and i kept the 38s now i wore these yesterday i think i've been ordering my birkenstocks one size too big these fit and they stayed on my foot so much better that oh for the love of fuck you don't know how to fucking put shoes on and know whether they fit or not they were so much more comfortable than any other Birkenstocks I've had. So that is my tip to you, is to... Buy your fucking right shoe size! Oh, jeez. You try them on, and if they're not comfortable and they're falling off, you go down a size and try them! To kind of order down with the Birkenstocks, let me know down below if you are an experienced Birkenstock wearer, if you find that to be true. I don't know, maybe. Why didn't you ask your mum? She wears them all the time. Is she a size up in other shoes? It's just with these shiny ones, but they are fabulous. And red shoes are in, and I love an all black outfit with red shoes. Okay, these I ordered from Zara. You know that the pointed toe, that's all in. The comeback of the pump, but look at the colors. Isn't that funny how I ended up getting this and those jeans, but I bought these, I got them last week. I just forgot to show you. Love them, mm -hmm. so comfortable. I wore them in a video that's coming up that you guys will see soon. Beautiful, comfortable, you need them. Now I am an eight and I do order the eight on the Zara website. This is a case of determination and resilience. <laughs> This is me <laughs> wanting to wear something so bad that I'm gonna to try to find the perfect ones. 
and it is the combat boot. I love the way these look, and sometimes it does take me several years to either feel comfortable in a style or to find the exact thing. Oh, it takes you a couple of years to feel comfortable. I thought you were out there and you wore whatever you wanted. And you didn't bother about what was in fashion. Whatever. I'm looking for, and I saw these on the Anthropology website, and they are C by Chloe. So they weren't cheap, but they weren't crazy expensive. And I'll tell you what I liked. I like. They weren't cheap, but they weren't crazy expensive. Now I have to see. Yes, I know she's tracking me, so she's getting money. But I don't care because I don't shop at Anthropology. Oh, for the love of... We can't seem to find what you're looking for. Not in here. Is this UK? No. Hudson Ripley leather lace ups. No. Is it because they put me on my one and not the American one? I hate that. You're not in America. Do you want to go there? No, I don't. I want to go where I clicked. Oh, now we're none the wiser. Oh, well. Liked the side zip. I love that they're kind of slimline. Of course you like the side zip because you don't know how to do laces and tying things. They're not too big and bulky. I love the wingtip design here. That just takes me back to going to church with my dad and my granddaddy. You know, they would get their shoes out and like buff them up and they would have these wingtip shoes. And I just think that they're... What the hell is a wingtip shoe? Really pretty. I like the little gold thing here. So, of course, I have not worn these. I've walked around the house in them just to make sure that they were the right size and they are. I will say that my toe came nowhere near touching the end, but they're kind of snug like around the ankle. Not when I get them on, but when I'm putting them on. So, I will probably end up wearing, which I would anyway, wearing a thin sock, but love them. Which I would anyway. Really? At least you're actually wearing the fucking socks you bought now. I think that they're going to be fun to style and just play with. Makeup. I They'll be fun to play with. They're fucking boots. Are you going to go to the park and put them on the swings? Whee! There you go. Fucking hell. I'd forgotten how stupid she was. I have ordered so much stuff that's not here. I think it's supposed to come today. I've ordered the new Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude palette. And then I ordered some Patrick Ta, the Compact Foundation. I believe that's supposed to be here. Lots of things. So look forward to all of these things next week. But I did get in PR some new Buxom. Why can't you just say PR like a normal person? Lip glosses and these are my favorites you know how i feel about celeste and another one that is really good is mudslide if you want a nude that has some color mudslide is beautiful but this is the new fall ones we have full-on plumping polish so this one's going to have more color this is daisy donut this is the full-on plumping cream in pumpkin pie latte Oh my goodness, you guys. They smell so good. And then this one is the full on matte and the color is Cranberry Smash. They are beautiful. It's beginning to look a lot like. It's the, she's got music in the background, hasn't she? It's really irritating me. Like fall around here. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but you may have seen my new little necklace from Miranda Fry. They are now doing just a limited amount of fine jewelry. And I've always loved this little cross. I have a little cross that my dad gave me years ago, and it's very similar to this. You guys may remember it, but this one has teeny tiny little diamonds in it, and I love it. 
So I just wanted to show you the box that it came in. Their fine jewelry comes in this lacquered box and they were running a special. This is not sponsored, but they did send this to me. They were running a special, but of course you didn't bother to tell anybody at the time. They let me choose it and I love it. I love it. It's got so much more impact than you would think. And I'm not sure about the chain link. They're sending me an 18 inch to see if I like the 16 or the 18 better. Let's get to- Like you haven't got a fucking 18 inch chain that you could have put it on. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, we'll say, oh, that's so kind of you. <sighs> Some juicy questions. One thing I do want to tell you, and I, I could have told you this before, but if you'll notice, I'm not one to really talk about like health stuff, like things that are wrong with me or anything like that. I just don't, that's not what I want to talk about. But many of you have asked me over the years about my thyroid, that I need to have my thyroid checked out. I've talked to my doctor about that before. He looked at it, nothing. So this last time that I had a doctor visit, which was months and months ago, it was at the beginning of the summer, I think. He had me on the table, you know, feeling my thyroid. I think he had me, what is it they have you do? Turn and turn or something. And I Turn and turn or something. Do you really need to even say, why can't you just say he checked my thyroid? said, oh, is my thyroid okay? I said, because I've had many people say to me, I need to have my thyroid checked out. And he said, well, I remember, I don't know who it was, somebody on TV that that happened to. And he ended up having something really wrong and that person saved his life. So he felt my thyroid again and he ended up sending me to a specialist. And I did have my thyroid, what is it, like a sonogram? It was, it, I told the guy, I said it was, I said, this is kind of like when you're having a baby, but not as much fun. And he said, yeah, and uh, no college to pay for or something like that. So he had heard that one before. In fact, I do have, I guess, a cyst or, you know, a growth on my thyroid that is very, very common, especially in women. And it is benign. There's no blood flow to it. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's no reason to remove it. Now, I will go have it checked periodically and you know, all of that good stuff. So for those of you- I hate how she ends a fucking sentence with that. And all that good stuff. How is it good having a lump checked? There's nothing good about having a cyst checked. Oh, I've got to take that one. Yeah, much better than that. See, I don't go looking for them. They present them. So how do you know if someone's got something wrong with their thyroid then? You in America, you know far more about health and tests and stuff than we ever get told over here. Oh, you're fine. You could be having stage four cancer and they still pat you on the head and say you're fine. That have asked me that for years, you're right. Thank you. I'm very grateful that you brought that to my attention and I've got it all handled and under control. So I think that's it. My nail polish is OPI Lincoln Park After Dark, one of my favorites. My earrings, I'm not wearing any because I'm getting my roots done today. Oh, and in the midst of all of this, we're having a hurricane. So I hope that those of you in Florida are safe. I am here on the coast of North Carolina. We seem to get every hurricane, no matter where they start. So we're having very ugly weather and preparing to get hit by that hurricane. That's another reason I wanted to do this today. So my prayers to you guys and don't worry about me. We're very, very used to having hurricanes. And one of John's big things when we built this house is we have a whole house generator that runs our whole house. They actually like test it. Oh, wow. You've got a whole house generator. So you'll still be able to cook and you won't have to live on PB&J like last time. All you did was fucking moan. Your post didn't get there. It was miserable outside, blah, blah, blah. People died and you didn't give a fuck. And you got so much backlash that now you're like, oh, my prayers go out. Yeah, whatever. I don't believe you. 
reset it every week. So as soon as we lose power, that kicks on and runs everything. So we feel pretty good about that. So thank you guys yeah. so much for everything. Thank you for being my friends. Thank you for being my fashion and my makeup friends. Friend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Up and down the road and back again. Yeah, that's you. Hello, pudding. What's with the music? Stop with the music. It's fucking annoying. That was hard work. If you made it through, congratulations. Your chocolate wombles in the post and I will see you in the next one.